Homer High School's most decorated basketball team was the 1940-41 team, which won its first 34 games and multiple tourney titles. So it's only fitting that the best player on the school's best team be honored with induction into the school's Hall of Fame. Wilfred Hurst, Homer's first All-State player, was a guard with many attributes, but scoring was his first order of business. He set the single-season scoring record that amazing season, while also tying the modern-day single-game scoring record four different times during his career. The three-year starter was the team's leading scorer for his final two seasons and was a big reason the team went 90-10 and 10 during that span. Additionally, he helped lead the Panthers to three county titles, two district titles, and two regional championships. And the News Gazette third team All-Stater was at his best in big games, scoring a team-high 15 points in the 1941 regional championship game and a team-high 17 points in the sectional overtime loss to Urbana in 1940. However, basketball was not the only sport Hurst excelled in. He was an outstanding pitcher in both fast pitch softball and baseball. He helped the Maroon and Gold softball team to a 27-5 record in the three seasons he was the number one starter, including the 1939 county championship. That 1939 season saw him strike out 81 batters while allowing only 53 hits. Opponents hit just 144 against him that season. Hurst was a regular all four years in softball, with the team going 35-7 during that time. In baseball, he tossed a no-hitter in Homer's 1941 season opener and was the pitcher of record in the first two wins in baseball that year, a season which saw baseball revived after several years' absence. He was even the school's record holder for the softball throw in track and field, setting that mark in 1940. As one of the Panthers' first modern-day standout athletes, Hearst is the first pre-1950 athlete to be honored with induction into the Hall of Fame.